kicking it off with Rodolfo in Salem, Oregon. Rodolfo, welcome to the Ramsey Show. How are you? Pretty good. And yourself? Doing great. How can we help today? So, yeah, uh, my question is uh, about six grand in credit card loan debt. Uh, I was just trying to see where should I start off. Uh, should I pay it off at once, uh, little by little? You know, I'm just, I just want to say where do I start, basically. So let me recap. You've got $6,000 in credit card debt. Is this across multiple yeah. cards? Uh, two cards. Two cards. Okay. Uh, yeah. Are you familiar with the, with our baby steps that we teach? Uh, a little. Not. I mean, I know it's uh, the $1,000 emergency, uh, you know, for just in case something happens. Yeah, do you have that so but far? Do you have $1,000? You know? Yeah, I do, yeah. I have more than that. You have more than that? How much more are we talking? Uh, I have about eight grand. Hold up. You have eight grand in cash, and you have six grand in credit yeah. card debt. Yeah. This is an easy math equation for me. What's What's been holding you back from just going ahead and paying that whole thing off in one lump sum? Well, basically, you know, I, I bought this travel trailer as well. Um, I'm remodeling it, so basically it's going to cost me about four grand to pay off them. I'm going to be like left at zero after that. So you've been hanging so on to it for the remodel. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just basically yeah that. That's what's been holding me, holding me up basically. Okay, and this is your only debt, this credit card debt. I have a car as well. I took out a, I bought a, a truck. Okay, what's what's the loan on that truck? Uh, right now it is twenty six. I owe twenty six. Okay. Well, you've got baby step one down, which is that $1,000 starter emergency fund, and now you're in baby step two where you're paying off all of your consumer debt uh, except the house. Uh -huh. And this includes the truck too. Yeah. So what I would start with is your smallest debt first. That's what we teach, the debt snowball. So you're going to list all of your debts from smallest uh -huh. to largest. We're ignoring the interest rate. We're not concerned with that. We are concerned with progress, and we are concerned with uh -huh. actually seeing this debt gone. So as of today, okay. you could have no credit card debt with the cash you have on hand, yeah. correct? Yeah, correct. That'll leave you with $2,000. You can take 1000 of that yeah. and start attacking that truck loan. And I want that thing gone before you start doing all these renovations on the, on the trailer. I mean, is there any urgency around uh -huh. the, the trailer renovations? Uh, Not too much. I just wanted to flip it. So, yeah, basically. Okay, so this was a, a quick money-making scheme for you. Just kind of yeah, flip the truck, yeah. make some money. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. before, well, before yeah. we do that, we got to clean this out. Stuff as well. So, Rodolfo, let's well, put a new timeline together, okay? George told you exactly okay. what to do. Are you, you tracking as to why you need to do it that way and that it is something you're going to do? Is that a yes? Are you going to do this? The do what? <laughs> the debt snowball. The debt snowball. What George just told you to do, you got to pay that debt off today. Yeah, well, that's the thing. So I should I should pay it off then. That's what you recommend? Yes. Absolutely. I it's mean, how, how much is this truck worth? I'm curious. Uh, right now, it's worth about forty-two. It's worth forty-two, and you have a twenty-six thousand dollar loan. Yeah. What do you think about selling that truck since you're not underwater on it, and using that cash to really uh, get your life started? Well, I, I thought about that. I do as well. You do so what now? Sorry, speak back. clearly into the phone. We back, we back we missed you. Uh, landscaping. You, so you need it for your business? Yeah. No, you don't. You don't need a forty-two thousand dollars truck. That's, that's a nice truck for a landscaping. So no, you I, I know, I know that. You know, but well, no, no, it, no, no, no. Hold on a second. It, it, Hold on a second. I'm not in a butt uh, mood today. All right. I'm just gonna jump in uh, here, George. All right. Yeah. Listen yeah. to me, dude. Let's just run the math. You owe twenty-six uh, on the truck. It's worth forty-two. If I heard that yeah. correctly. I'd flip that yeah. by the weekend. That's sixteen grand in your right? hand. Now you got sixteen grand. You can go buy something, a decent older truck or whatever that you need for the sixteen, and you can flip the trail and everything else. And now you're rocking and rolling, man. We're talking about fast Drew, you, forwarding you your got, dreams. You got a point there. You got a point there. What oh, I'm hearing is you could be debt free this week if you wanted to. Yeah. And then you can be cash flowing these renovations, get a cheaper truck for the landscaping gig, and upgrade yes. as you get more cash flow in. And let me remind you. Once you get rid of that car loan and these credit cards, you're going to have more income. You're going to get a raise because you're not making payments anymore. Yeah, that's true. So I want that to fuel you, get you excited about the future, because I can tell you're a sharp dude, entrepreneurial type, and you're going to set yourself up way better for the future if you can clean this mess up this week 
and start to have that cash flow back uh, in your life. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I'm I'm, I'm going to do that for sure. Probably try try taking my truck to CarMax or something take to see what they do. Yeah, dude, absolutely. There's so many options right now. CarMax, dealerships, Vroom, Carvana, you name it. But get the best yeah. uh, bang for your buck there. And uh, we believe in you, man. You got this. You can get rid of this debt. Get these uh, this income back into your life. That is the key.